just imagine that it was a technological object that selected this uh, orbit to be aligned with the planets around the sun for a reason. It was designed by some intelligence and uh, we are not uh, prepared for such a visit. And perhaps the wake up call from uh, 3 Atlas, this object. When the European Space Agency released a new sequence of images from its ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter in early October, the data appeared ordinary at first glance. Faint smudges against a crowded star field, background noise scattered with cosmic specks. But buried in those frames was an object that has shaken astronomers out of routine analysis and into wonder. The glowing sphere, captured just within 29 million kilometers of Mars on October 3rd, was not behaving like anything in the catalogs of comets, asteroids, or icy fragments that populate the inner solar system. It was labeled 3I Atlas, and it seemed to refuse every category scientists tried to place it in. The object gleamed with a sharp, self-contained light surrounded by a haze that trailed not away from the sun, as a comet's tail should, but toward it. That single inversion upended a century of intuition about how sunlight sculpts the behavior of cosmic ice and dust. The ExoMars camera had caught something that looked less like a snowball shedding material and more like a mirror reflecting energy in an unexpected direction. The geometry alone was enough to suggest that 3i Atlas was a visitor unlike any seen before. Its timing made the discovery even more remarkable. The object had entered the solar system from interstellar space, cutting through the planetary plane at a trajectory nearly aligned with the orbits of the major worlds. For a few short months, it would pass within reach of several robotic observers. By chance, Mars was near its line of approach, allowing ExoMars to glimpse the object as it sped past. On October 3rd, it came within 29 million kilometers of the red planet, close enough that the orbiter's instruments could track it as a bright moving point against the Martian backdrop. Follow-up observations showed no sign of the characteristic fan of dust that marks an active comet. The images instead displayed a luminous core with a faint, narrow jet of light stretching sunward. Astronomers could not yet tell whether that jet was material streaming off the surface or a trick of scattered illumination, but either way, it stood as a challenge to existing models. Some hypothesized that uneven heating could be driving a localized eruption on the sunward side, while others suspected the object might be composed of material that reacts differently to solar radiation, metallic rather than icy, perhaps even coated in compounds unknown in solar-borne bodies. While the European data spread quickly through the scientific community, another potentially clearer image sequence was quietly stored aboard NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Its high-rise camera, capable of resolving features only a few dozen kilometers across from orbit, had captured 3i Atlas during the same passage. But a government shutdown in the United States froze the release of all new data, trapping the observations behind administrative barriers. Researchers could only wait, aware that one of the highest resolution looks at an interstellar object in human history sat unseen on a secure server. Within days, a pattern emerged that deepened the intrigue. Comparing the ExoMars and earlier Hubble Space Telescope images taken in July, analysts noticed that the same sunward jet persisted over months of observation. It did not vary in orientation as expected from simple rotation or changing solar angle. Instead, it seemed to maintain a steady geometry relative to the sun, as if the object itself were actively producing or reflecting light in that direction. Astrophysicist Avi Loeb noted that the object's alignment with the orbital plane of the planets was statistically unusual, and that its motion suggested a remarkable stability for a fragment entering from interstellar space. To him, the anomaly was not just a curiosity, but an invitation, a prompt to consider the full range of possibilities, including natural and technological origins alike. His comments reignited a debate first sparked years earlier by the interstellar object Oumuamua. How should science interpret the behavior of bodies that fit no established category? In late October, 3i Atlas reached its closest point to the Sun, only a fraction of the distance between Earth and its star. There, the temperature on its surface soared, 
yet the object remained intact. No sudden flare, no visible breakup. Its resilience added another layer to the mystery. If it were made of typical cometary ice, the solar heat would have blasted away its outer layers in a plume of gas and dust. Instead, it glided past the inferno unchanged, a silent traveler brushing the inner boundary of our neighborhood before curving outward again. December would bring its next rendezvous, this time with Earth's orbit, when it would come within 1.8 astronomical units, nearly twice our distance from the Sun. Amateur astronomers prepared for the possibility of spotting it through powerful telescopes, while professional observatories readied spectrographs to analyze its reflected light. By March 2026, its trajectory would take it past Jupiter, within 54 million kilometers of the giant planet. NASA's Juno spacecraft orbiting there was tasked with a final glance as the interstellar traveler retreated toward the outer dark. While observatories tracked 3I Atlas across the inner solar system, Avi Loeb and other theorists focused on its fundamental physics. Their models treated gravity as the key to understanding what held the object together during its passage near the Sun. Using escape velocity as a benchmark, Loeb calculated that an object of its estimated size, somewhere between 5 and 46 kilometers in diameter, would have an escape speed of only about 1.3 to 12 meters per second. For comparison, the Moon's escape velocity is 2.4 kilometers per second, Earth's is 11.2, and a black hole's exceeds the speed of light. The result placed 3I Atlas among the weakest gravitational bodies ever measured, a mass so lightly bound that a human running at record speed could, in theory, outrun its pull. To imagine such weakness, Loeb invoked the example of a human sprinter. Usain Bolt's world record pace of 10.44 meters per second would be sufficient to leap from the surface of a 40-kilometer asteroid, the analogy crystallized a striking truth. The object's gravity, though it binds 33 billion tons of material, is delicate enough that an athlete could outrun it. Yet despite its frailty, the traveler's mass and motion followed the same equations that govern planets and stars. Loeb estimated its diameter to lie between 5 and 46 kilometers, the lower limit set by its lack of visible recoil from outgassing, and the upper by its measured brightness. At those dimensions, its gravitational field was too weak to influence nearby bodies in any measurable way. When it swept past Mars at 67 kilometers per second, the kick it delivered to the planet's motion was a change of only two trillionths of a meter per second, utterly invisible to instruments. Still, in symbolic terms, its presence exerted a much greater pull. The data also suggested a rotation period of roughly 16 hours, that slow spin generated a surface velocity of about 0.25 to 2.5 meters per second, one-fifth of its escape speed if it possessed a porous cometary density. The ratio indicated that its internal cohesion exceeded any centrifugal stress by an order of magnitude. For an iron-rich or metallic object, the margin would be even wider. The rotation was far too gentle to threaten breakup. Whatever its composition, 3I Atlas was stable, coherent, and self-contained, a solid traveler moving through the solar system with quiet assurance. Such stability implies a deeper story about its origin. Objects from interstellar space are shaped by collisions, radiation, and time spans that erase the traces of their formation. If 3I Atlas is dense and reflective, it might have been forged in the inner regions of another planetary system, blasted free by gravitational upheaval, and sent wandering for millions of years before crossing ours. Its survival through multiple stellar environments would mean that its surface has been baked, bombarded, and scarred into something almost metallic in character. On the other hand, if it turns out to be a fragment of a larger, once technological structure, its integrity might represent deliberate design rather than natural endurance. For now, both possibilities remain open. The object's sunward jet remains the most perplexing feature. If the emission is genuine and not an optical illusion, it suggests that material is being ejected or reflected preferentially toward the sun. No known comet behaves this way. 
Some physicists have proposed that complex thermal conduction could drive jets along magnetic field lines, or that certain materials might fluoresce under solar radiation. Others point to geometry. If the object's surface includes facets or cavities, light could scatter in patterns that mimic directed emission. The answer lies hidden in spectral data still being processed by ESA and NASA teams. In the meantime, the mystery has sparked a renaissance in observational planning. Loeb has argued for a dedicated global monitoring network capable of detecting interstellar objects as they enter the solar system, giving humanity weeks or months of advance notice rather than days. The existing Vera Rubin Observatory in Chile covers the southern sky. A twin facility in the north, he suggested, would complete the planetary watch. Such infrastructure would not only expand scientific reach, but also serve as a form of planetary insurance, a way to anticipate encounters with objects that might one day prove hazardous or extraordinary. Beyond the policy discussions, the story of 3i Atlas speaks to something more enduring in human nature. A faint smudge on a spacecraft image became a mirror for our species' curiosity. Its physical gravity is weak, but the intellectual gravity it exerts is immense. Each new data point, each refined calculation, pulls scientists and the public alike into its orbit of wonder. As it journeys past Jupiter and into the outer darkness, the object will slowly fade from view. Ground-based telescopes will lose it first, then spacecraft as the sunlight dwindles. What remains will be the record, spectra, brightness curves, and the lessons extracted from its brief visit. Those lessons reach far beyond the object itself. They remind us that interstellar space is not an empty gulf, but a bridge between star systems traversed by fragments carrying the chemistry, history, and perhaps the stories of other worlds. When the final high-resolution data from NASA's high-rise camera is released, scientists will reconstruct its shape and rotation more precisely. They will measure albedo variations to map bright and dark regions, look for linear features that hint at ridges or facets, and test the hypothesis of a metallic surface. Combined with spectroscopic data from ESA and Earth-based observatories, these analyses will narrow the possibilities. A dormant comet stripped of volatiles? An iron-rich asteroid expelled from another system? Or something so anomalous it demands new terminology? Whatever the verdict, 3i Atlas has already accomplished something rare. It has united planetary scientists, astrophysicists, and engineers across continents, in pursuit of a single fleeting target. It has forced a reconsideration of how we define comets, asteroids, and artifacts. And it has reminded humanity that even the smallest wanderer from another star can alter the trajectory of our thinking. The traveler's gravitational influence may amount to almost nothing, yet its passage exerts a profound pull on human imagination. In its wake, new observatories will be built new missions conceived, and new generations of scientists drawn to study the subtle motions of light and matter across the void. As it recedes beyond Jupiter's orbit and slips into darkness, 3i Atlas leaves behind a different kind of trace gas, a thin invisible vapor of curiosity expanding across our planet. In the silence of space, gravity may be weak, but wonder is not. The faint sphere that defied every category will continue to orbit our thoughts long after it vanishes from our skies, a reminder that sometimes the smallest glimmer in a data set can open a door to the infinite.